What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. Today I want to talk about guilds and how I feel that they are important to join and kind of why I feel like they are important. Um, a lot of players are new to the game. A lot of players have been around the game for a long time and a lot of people are always wondering what are great, you know, tips and, and things for, for the game. But one thing that I, I feel is always a good resource in game, of course, is joining a guild. Of course, I play on PS4. You might play on Xbox, you might play on PC. It does not matter. You always can join guilds and find guilds to join within the game. Uh, if you go down to your, uh, you know, just your section, you know, where you can see everything here, you know, your inventory skills, all that kind of stuff, and go down to the social section, you will see voice chat, text chat, you know, emotes group, and then you will see the option for guilds. Once you click on that, if you are a member of a guild, you will see them here in this list. As you can see, I'm a member of four guilds. You can be a member of five guilds total um, within the game. So, Keep that in mind. You don't have to just pick one. You can be a member of five. So I, I'm kind of one shot, uh, one slot short here, but I just have not found another guild that I would like to be a part of just yet. But if you're in no guilds whatsoever, you always can go down to Guild Finder. Uh, you'll have your active applications here. You'll have an application message. So if you apply for anything, you will see those active applications there. But if you're looking for just a particular guild, you can go down to the Browse Guild section here and find Trading, Group, PvE, Role Playing, Social, PvP, Questing, Crafting. I would recommend if you are a new player, find a guild that's not a trading guild right off the bat. Because most trading guilds, now some will be free and some will be donation based, but a lot of big trading guilds are going to be, you have to pay or you have to sell so much within their guild to be a member of that. Uh, on console, at least on PS4, most of these big guilds have weekly dues. So, you know, it'll be anywhere from 10 to 15,000 per week to sell within or to be in that guild and to sell within their guild trader. Which I know to a new player sounds like a lot. If you have played for a long time, 10 or 15K is really not that much. You can sell tons of items within that week and make that 10 to 15K back very quickly. But if you are new, I know it's hard to find, you know, a, a, a source of gold right off the bat. So, you know, you're, you're just struggling to make money. It's not a great idea to join a trading guild to begin with. Unless it's kind of a donation-based trading guild where they don't mind how much you donate. As long as you just donate enough, you know, to kind of help out some. Also... Trading guilds are mainly trading guilds. Other guilds like PvE guilds, PvP guilds, a lot of those focus on other things than just trading. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm in some great trading guilds that, you know, play trials, that play vet dungeons, that kind of thing. But also, if you are new to the game, you're looking for something that you can have kind of a community. If you're looking for someone to get, give advice, if you're looking for someone to uh, help you out with doing dungeons, maybe give some advice on crafting or maybe even craft you some items there's a lot of guilds that will help you out no matter what level you are so i think it is a very good tool in game to be a member of a guild another reason is is you always can go to your guild roster and of course you know i'm making this video early in the morning so you know the guilds aren't just packed with people but usually all my guilds have 100 plus members on at kind of peak times you can just select your guild roster go into the roster and if you're needing to travel somewhere you can select on this individual let's just say if you were going to select on me or, you know, not me, but maybe somebody else right here in the list, you can go to travel to that player. You can visit their primary residence. Um, if they're in an area that you do not have access to yet, you can travel to them to have a way shrine in that area. So, you know, it's just a great idea to be in a guild, not just for traveling purposes, for crafting purposes, um, maybe, like I said, for ideas on builds. And yes, you're going to find those guilds that maybe those elitist style guilds that don't like questions, that want people to already know what they're doing. Don't worry about that. If you're in a guild like that, just leave it and find another guild that will be more helpful to newer and older players alike. And that is the type of community that you would like to be in in the game anyway. I'm not a big fan of being in, in guilds that think they know everything because that just kind of gets old and annoying to a lot of people. And I can understand that. But if you're in a guild that is helpful to new, like I said, to new players, returning players, older players, just you know, whatever the case may be. If you've been around the game forever, if you're just starting the game, if you can find a guild that is friendly to all players, and there are tons of those out there, there are tons of people out there that like to help players, that is where you want to be. And I really think joining a guild is a big resource in the game, and I think it is a must resource in the game. I played the game for a long time when it first, I purchased this game on PlayStation 4 about six months after it was released. And I ran around, you know, after guilds were introduced and things of that nature. And I ran around for a long time, probably for several years before I really started joining guilds. And I really enjoyed the game more once I joined a guild and had more resources, like I said, of people to ask questions to. 
like I said, more resources to be able to travel to different areas. And also, like I said, if you ever need anything, there's a lot of guild members that will just craft you items for nothing, for free. Some guild members may want to, you know, give you want you to give them a little bit of a tip. You know, they'll say, you know, I can craft it. If you want to give a tip, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. That's kind of how I am. If somebody asks if they needed something crafted in any of the guilds I am uh, that I am in, they always ask me how much. I'll say, you know, if you feel like you need to give me something, you can give me a tip, but I'm not going to ask anything for it. Some people may ask you for maybe some of the crafting materials to, to craft that certain item. Either way, it is just a good resource, in my opinion, to be in a guild, and I think it is probably one of the best things you can do within the game. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know your thought about guilds just overall. Like I said, I'm not quite sure exactly how they work on Xbox or PC, of course, because I play on PS4. It may be a bit different. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thought about guilds just kind of overall. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to click that bell icon up in the top right corner if you are a subscriber. That way you will get notified when any of my videos go live. And also check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.